One of the biggest mistakes that startups make is that they build something that nobody cares about. This can be about a smaller product feature or a part of their service, but still they invested time and money to build this. On the other hand, the problem can also be quite big. If your whole business is built upon solving a problem that nobody cares about, this can be a major issue. The good news is that we can avoid this, and we can avoid this by using validation from the start. If you can find a match between what you want to offer and the problem that you want to solve, and the needs and wishes of the end users or customers, then we call this a fit. And there are three types of fit. There is problem solution fit, product market fit, and business model fit. To achieve problem solution fit, you need to have proof that your targeted customers care about a problem, the problem that you are solving. You need to have good insights in what a problem specifically is, who are the different stakeholders involved in it, and how big is this problem for them. You can achieve this fit by talking to many people, for example, by uh, doing interviews, doing observations, or doing questionnaires. The second type of fit is product market fit. To achieve this fit, you need to have proof that your targeted customers care about the value proposition that you are offering them. This value proposition is a list of key benefits of your solution, and this needs to match the needs and wishes of your end users or customers. You need to have proof that these end users or customers are interested in your solution because it solves one of the problems they care about. You can achieve this fit by already having some traction. For example, on your website, you have some first visitors. You may already have been doing some sales um, or offering your services. You can also achieve it by talking about your value proposition to many different people and trying to find out which one works best. The third type of fit is the business model fit. In order to achieve this type of fit, you need to have proof that your customers are willing to pay. And not only need they be willing to pay, you also need to have proof that they are willing to pay the price that you are asking and that they agree with the business model that you are offering. For example, a renting model, a subscription fee or a one-off one buy. You can achieve this type of fit by scaling up the number of customers that you have and to prove that you are, have a profitable business. Keep in mind that these three types of fit are in chronological order. You first need to have proof about the problem solution fit, then about the product market fit, and finally about business model fit.